Steve Van Foss with your IPv6 update for Tuesday, September 13th. The latest bit of news goes out in particular to our Aussie friends as the article we're looking at today comes from IT News Australia. Juhas Renan helps us out on three topics. Topic number one, playing chicken. The question is this, why haven't we just switched to IPv6 already? Jeff Huston at Asia Pacific Network Info Center has the following to say. The reason why the industry wants to play chicken with addressed exhaustion lies fundamentally in the makeup of the deregulated business environment and the inability of the market to adequately encompass transition models into business plans. In other words, we can't force businesses to switch to IPv6 and they don't feel like it yet. Second topic. Network Address Translation, or NAT, seems to be a solution that could really delay IPv4 address depletion. But port exhaustion is a problem that limits NAT's effectiveness. Each IP address has about 65,000 ports, but once devices are behind NAT, they have to share. Large NAT setups limit the connectivity that make today's services possible. And the third topic from IT News, IPv6 implementation is limited at the infrastructure level. Limited at the infrastructure level by customers' equipment and by some ISP equipment. This isn't to say that newer equipment is completely anti-IPv6, but it's not hardcore enough to handle day-to-day -day IPv6 needs. Oh,